Hey girls, it's Marissa from Marissa's Makeup Corner and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm super excited. We are going to be uh, talking about the matte ombre lip look. It's very on trend right now and I don't know about you ladies, but when the weather starts to get cooler, I start to really adore bold, matte, big lips. I love them. It's my thing in the fall and the winter time. Most of the time I'm a neutral girl any other day of the week any other season of the year, but during the holidays, I really want to make my lips pop. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna give um, you guys about a minute to get jumped on, and don't worry if you can't, don't, don't catch this live, it's fine, you can go back and rewatch it. Um, so I'm gonna actually just start by exfoliating my lips. This is our uh, lip exfoliator crayon. It is a sugar crayon, and all you do is you take it and you're gonna wanna, your immediate um, reaction to this is gonna wanna push really hard, but don't do that, okay? Because the skin on your lips is thin. So you're just gonna put a little bit of that on and you're gonna feel the sugar immediately and all you do is super simple, okay? And those little beads of sugar are just gonna exfoliate off any dead or dry or rough skin that may be on your lips. It's really important when you're doing a matte lip look to exfoliate. If you don't have this lip crayon, you can use just regular sugar, but this is really convenient to just throw in your in your makeup bag. And then if you're going out on a girl's night and say you wore something really neutral to work and you wanna amp it up and do that matte look, you want to have this lip crayon because sugar's not really um, something that you can carry around in your makeup bag easily, okay? You'll make a big mess. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just rub my fingers along to help that out. Um, I tend to get super dry skin right here on my top lip. That is where I notice the driest skin. Make sure you get the inner corners too because dry skin tends to get there as well. All right. So, we're gonna use two products today, two lip products. You're gonna to wanna to have a dark color and a light color, obviously. I am actually gonna be using our Precision Pencil Lip Liner in the color Punchy. This is a really pretty um, light pink shade and our Splash Liquid Lipstick in the color Sensual. This is my favorite, 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 favorite Splash Liquid Lipstick color. It's very berry, it's so pretty. It's such a fall and winter color. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's so infused with color, I love it. Okay, now that that stuff is on my lips and we've kind of exfoliated all the dead skin off, we're gonna make sure that our lip pencil is nice and sharpened. And I'm just gonna get a nice point on that to make application super simple. bit more. I want a little bit better of a tip. The pointier your liner is, ladies, the more precision you've got going on there. So, okay, I've got that done. I am going to just make sure that all that sugar is off. You can go ahead and lick your lips. It tastes really yummy. This is also a little bit conditioning, so um, you can leave it on your lips. It's not going to hurt anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my lip liner pencil and I am actually going to outline my entire lip and then I'm going to fill it in. So this is the color Punchy. And it is a really pretty light pink shimmer shade. Has a little bit of a sparkle to it. Feel free to say hello if you guys are hopping on here. Um, I can see your comments come in, so if you have questions or you need me to repeat something or you wanna know what colors I'm using, go ahead, ask me questions, I can get to them. And the nice thing about outlining your lips first is that it gives you kind of an outline where you need to stay. Um, and I don't know about you, but when I'm putting on darker colors, I kind of get them all over myself. Kind of happens. I don't know about you ladies, 
Um, but, so I always line my lips, especially when I'm using a really bright, bold color. And I love these lip pencils, let me tell you. These are nice, they stay put. You'll have this color all day. They don't smudge. Um, here is what we were gonna do though. Do not put this away yet because you're gonna need it um, as we go through this tutorial. So now we're gonna take this Splash Liquid Lipstick in the color Sensual. It's a really beautiful berry color. Um, it varies a little bit on everyone. Um, but for me, it's really just mostly this really pretty um, dark raspberry type color. I love it. Hey, Sonia, thanks for watching. And what you're going to do when you open this up, this is going to have a lot of product on it, okay? It kind of looks like a lip gloss applicator. You do not need all this product, you guys. This is such a pigmented color. I promise you, you're not going to need all the stuff that gets on this applicator when you pull it out. So just wipe off the excess. And it's a little pointed. I don't know if you guys can tell that, okay? But this is not um, just one fat, normal lip lip uh, gloss type applicator. It's a little bit pointed, so you can get a little bit more precision out of it. So we've already done that lip liner in that color punchy, that really pretty pink color. See how pretty it is all on its own? I actually really love this color. I'm a pink girl, so this is a really pretty color, and it's great just on its own. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to start on the outer corners here, okay? And don't worry, like I said, I make a mess almost every time I do this. You're going to blot your lips together once you have it on that bottom lip, okay? This is just going to make your ombre lip a little bit easier to carry through. And you're going to even use less products. So who doesn't love that, right? Okay, and then I'm going to just go up and fix. See where I have this lip liner still here? I want my darker sensual color up there as well. Don't worry too much if you get this all over you. Um, you don't have to be perfect at it and you can just use a Q-tip with a little bit of makeup remover and go in and get that precision that you need. Okay, so obviously I've done one side and I look crazy. Um, I'm gonna go in and again, I don't need more product on this, okay you guys? Because this is so highly pigmented and it's a really good formula. You do not need to go back in and dip this in your product, okay? You have plenty. And it still looks kind of goofy right now, guys. I promise we're going to fix this. And again, you're just going to go ahead and press your lips together, get that product dispersed on the top lip as well so that it just makes application a little bit easier. Okay. And then we're just going to come up here. Sorry, my husband's coming out of the bathroom. And you're going to take the tip of this applicator and you are just going to outline the rest of your lip, okay? You don't want this color all the way through. Okay, and I'm still not done, I promise, ladies. We're not gonna leave our lips looking this way. You're gonna go back in with that precision pencil in the color Punchy, 
and you're gonna blend this all together and it's gonna look really beautiful when you're done you're gonna have this really fun lip look I say that ombre lips are for everything but they're really good for fun nights out so New Year's Eve girls nights any kind of fun festive um, event that you have planned for this holiday try out an ombre lip they're really fun you can put some gloss over top of this um, and that also helps with the blending. If you don't want to use an eye pencil, you can definitely use gloss. It helps with the, the blending and it just makes it look a little bit more shiny. I happen to really love matte lips. Okay, and you can see that my lips are now starting to really see that ombre look now because we've blended in our pencil with our sensual lip color. And it's starting to look really beautiful. This is great for anybody. Um, thin lips, thick lips, whatever you've got, you can do this lip look. And it's so pretty. I'm telling you, you can do it with reds. You can do it with pinks. You can do it with browns. You can get really funky. We've got blue uh, liquid lipstick that you can do it with. And I have some splurge cream shadow that I've tried it out with. It's a really fun look. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can really just amp this look up and get really fun with it. So I'm just going to go in the top and blend out a little bit more. But I mean, it was that simple, guys. An eyeliner and a splash liquid lipstick is all you need and you've got holiday lips and I guarantee you your friends are gonna be like oh my gosh sorry that the dogs are running around your friends are gonna be asking you how you got that awesome lip look and you can tell them well I did it myself you can be all sassy about it okay that's it yeah ombre lips so if you girls have questions Put them in the comments. I will get back to them today, I promise. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and stay tuned because there are more lip looks coming. See you later.